Hey guys, Katie here, and today I'm talking about Born With Teeth by Kate Mulgrew. Born With Teeth is Kate Mulgrew's memoir. She's an actress. Um, she has done movies and TV and theater. I think theater is really kind of her thing, and you can definitely tell that in the book. My favorite role of hers is Janeway on Star Trek Voyager. I just think she made the part. If you go online and you search for, I forget what the video is called, but it's something like the first Janeway, and it's uh, Genevieve Bujold. She was the original person they cast to play Janeway, and if you watch that video versus like the first episode of Voyager where Kate Mulgrew comes out as Janeway, you will see that she, I think, made that show what it is. And I think without Kate Mulgrew, Janeway wouldn't have been as stubborn, strong-willed, or passionate as she is, which I think are some of her most amazing traits and what make her the best captain, in my opinion, of Star Trek. If you're a fan of Kate Mulgrew, if you've seen her on Orange is the New Black, if you've heard her voice work on Dragon Age, or if you we're also a fan of Voyager or other things that she's been in. I think this is a really great book to read. Like I said, her focus is really theater and you can definitely tell that in her writing. She's very expressive and very uh, dramatic. Everything is a big deal, <laughs> which uh, makes the book kind of an exciting read. I haven't read many memoirs, so I don't feel that I can judge it, you know, as a memoir. I can only say that, you know, I, I liked it. And I don't think that Kate Mulgrew is the best writer ever, but I really think that she has an incredible way of phrasing things. At first it kind of shocked me because I wasn't used to it, but she definitely writes like she speaks, which is sometimes not a good thing, but I think it was really great in this book. Something that I think is really important in Born With Teeth is Kate Mulgrew's story of how she put her daughter up for adoption when she was a young woman. Um, and how she struggled with that decision throughout her adult life. She's this really dedicated kind of workaholic actress and, you know, works for years and years and years, but when she gets on Voyager and has like a ton of long hours, she has kids. And at that point, the memoir kind of turns a little bit and gives you an idea of what it was like to be a woman in the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, you know, who's kind of expected to do it all and do it flawlessly and have no complaints when in reality it was really hard for her kids, it was really hard for her at the time she was single, so she was doing it all on her own. I saw on Goodreads that this is classified as a feminist book, and I definitely agree with that. Because throughout her life she is mostly seeking, you know, an independence and a kind of happiness that is really hard to find. And I think it was really amazing and honest of her to frankly say that there were times when maybe she neglected her kids a little bit because she was in love with this guy and he was really important to her, you know, everybody can't be perfect all the time and especially when it comes to parenting, you know, there's no right way to be a parent. There's something very, very raw about her story and you get all the details even when maybe they're not very complimentary to her. I definitely think that she lived the kind of life that you would imagine a theater actress to live. You know, there were a lot of times when she's writing about, you know, being on the stage, uh, working with other actors, the thrill of being in theater, that fast-paced lifestyle, and what it was like working with different celebrities that she worked with. It only gives a little bit about Voyager and doesn't go into Orange is the New Black at all, so if you're looking for like dish on Orange is the New Black, you're not going to find it. But if you're a fan of Voyager, there is an amazing chapter or two on Voyager. Um, and I just think in general that Kay Mulgrew is a really interesting person. It's a little bit different, so I think that in, unless you're kind of a fan of her, it may not be as interesting to you, um, but I definitely felt compelled by her uh, story. I kind of, it's funny because I know like where she is and what she's doing right now, but I was like, how's it gonna end? Like, who does she end up with? And like, what happens with her daughter that she put up for adoption? Um, I felt like I was reading a real story, and so I think that means that she did a pretty good job. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads, and I don't have a very good set like rating system right now, but to me it was a fantastic book. It wasn't perfect, but it was fun and interesting and compelling, and I really do highly recommend it. So if you have read Born With Teeth or you're interested in it, let me know in the comments. Um, if you know anything about Kate Mulgrew, and you'll like Voyager, we can talk about that too. I hope you will check out this book if you're interested. I will see you guys later. Bye!